Hi guys, my name is Alexander Pavlich. I work as front-end developer at Aston Commerce. It's my first talk in English. I had very exciting, but I've read a lot, so don't blame me for my mistakes. I'm doing my best. And today I want to show you <laughs> some today I want to show you some tricks how uh, solve unusual problem. And let's start with blo block aspect ratio. Sometimes we need to create block with square or rectangular shapes, which keep his uh, spec ratio on any screen size. It can be a menu item, avatar, or image slider. It easily can be done in this way. If height of the blocks not defined, then padding calculated from the apparent width. Next one, supports. This is a rule um, you can check if browser support any uh, some CSS property or not, and also you can create conditions with logical operators, like this one. Drop shadow. Sometimes we need to create ambient shadow over the icons, PNG images with transparency, or uh, out of our tool tips, or another blocks going out from the parent block. The best way to do this is using the filter drop shadow. And filter drop shadow has advantages over box shadow, because they can use uh, browser um, acceleration for better performance. CSS variables. Now you can use CSS variables in all modern browsers. Uh, but interesting thing for this, you can, they are available not only on, at block where you define them, but for all children. It gives you a possibility to manage uh, uh, pseudo elements at JavaScript, like on this demo with buttons and menu items. Vertical text. Like you hear from the previous topic, you can easily make vertical text uh, with writing mode without rotating or other property, but uh, writing mode able only text from the top to the bottom. If you need uh, text with opposite direction, you can use, uh, use this small hack with transform scale minus with negative value that will uh, flip the block mirrored. And the next, was bro next one, browser behavior. A common task, ex example for a landing page, uh, scrolling to some blocks by clicking anchor link. We can uh, set page to doing uh, smoothly by adding just scroll behavior smooth in CSS, and by the way, we can do it, make with uh, JavaScript uh, by just adding uh, behavior smooth to parameter for scrolling. And next one, tricky task, I had one, it's uh, I need to add overlay gradient for Google Map. First, my idea was add block on the top, but it will blo block access to the map. Mm, that exactly I did it. What I found, if uh, we can uh, set if element m must be, uh, ch we can choose if element will be target for mouse events or not using pointer events and touch events properties. If, is, if, if we define them as none, then uh, events go through the block and get to block below it. Parallax. Uh, now you can create parallax effect with using CSS transformation like on this demo. The main idea is uh, if you set perspective one pixel for the parent and translate that minus two pixel for the child, they can become further from the users and moving with another speed during scrolling. After that, we restore his size using scale. Uh, more, def more about this approach, you can read on uh, this link below on Google Developer's website. And the last one, calc. It's mat in CSS. Um, sometimes we need to create font size, uh, uh, to set font size, which depend from the screen sizes. But on the tablets, uh, ah, oh, sorry. Uh, the best way to do, easily way to doing this is using font view per width as font units. But on the uh, phone, uh, phones or tablets, uh, font will be too small. Uh, with calc, we can uh, write in this way. and. Uh, set minimal fonts for the block. Another way, it's a fake media query with calc. They depend not from the viewer width, they depend from the parent block width. Uh, this expression may be too complicated, but the uh, main idea is uh, widths become very small or very big. And depending on that, 
blog use minfits or matsfits. This approach will work at emails, and uh, if you, say, example, if you don't know, doesn't know where this blog will be in the main column, on in the sidebar. Thank you.